it's Joe. I'm here in Sokobanya, which is a small mountain town in Serbia. And today we're going to talk about how to deal with boring women. It's a common sentiment I hear from a lot of men that most women they speak to, they find boring. Now this, is, of course, is going to dissuade men from going out, socializing with a ton of women, improving their game, improving their social skills and improving the range of women who want to date them, who want to be intimate with them, whatever you're looking for. Now, of course, this is the problem. So how do we deal with it? Well, I want to start off by sharing one of the tips given to me by my journalism professor. He said to me, there's an interesting person inside of everyone. It's your job to find that person, dig it out of them. Now, he said that because uh, in interviews, often people are going to be cold, giving one word answers, not sharing all the information they have, not sharing their full personality with a journalist. And why is that? Well, in most cases, it's because they don't know you yet. They don't trust you yet. They're not comfortable around you yet. Okay. And it's exactly the same um, <laughs> as a, a single man looking to try and seduce yeah. A lovely lady okay often if you're going out doing day game going out to the bars you're gonna find that women are giving you one-word answers they're not contributing to the conversation they don't have a lot of interesting things to say but the reason why is because they don't know you yet they don't trust you yet they're not comfortable around you yet okay so as a man in this situation same with a journalist it's your job to be patient okay it's your job to show them that you are, uh, you can be trusted. You are a cool guy and you are a fun guy and they would benefit from having fun with you. Okay. I would advise men, let's go this way. It's too dark around here. Um, no, let's go to the park. I would advise men to embrace the fact that they are going to have to be providing 90% of the interesting content in their opening minutes of their interactions with women. Okay. Now you might say, Oh, why do I have to do that? Why is it my job to be interesting and fun? Well, the answer is because you want something as a journalist, you want to have a, a good interview. You want the scoop as a single man, you want to get laid. So take some responsibility for going for what you want and don't just expect everything to fall into your lap, okay? Take responsibility to be interesting first. Because here is another uh, cold pill, bitter pill to swallow, okay? Women are interesting around men and fun and cool once they're attracted to them, but often not before, okay? It's like a sad fact of life that most men are seen as dangerous, weird creeps until they prove otherwise. All right. So it's your job as a man to prove otherwise. Okay. And that is, can take a few minutes in the conversation to be fun, to be cool, to be socially free, to show off your social status. Okay. All of these things. All right. And once you do that, you will notice that women start to open up around you. They start to contribute to the conversation. They start to be more fun. They start to be more interesting, playful, flirtatious, all of these amazing things. But you got to get to that point in the conversation first by being interesting first, by being charismatic, fun, trustworthy, all of these things. Okay. Now, a lot of coaches, in this industry, they will share the advice. Oh, if, if you find a woman boring, just move on to the next woman and the next woman. And that's fine. That's great. Abundance mindset and all of these things. But I don't want you to fall in the trap of um, moving on too quickly with the first woman and then the second woman and then the third woman. And then never getting to that hook point in the conversation where the women are inspired to be interesting and fun and flirtatious and cool around you. And then coming to the conclusion that all women are boring. When actually you are not doing enough to inspire them to be interesting around you. I want to give a, a quick bonus tip 
Um, if you are doing all the things that I've shared in this video, you're being fun, you're being interesting, you're being charismatic, you're showing off your social skills, you're showing off your social clout maybe, you're sticking into conversations with women for a long time, you're maybe even taking them home, okay, and you still find them boring. Um, try getting hornier. Okay, this is the off the wall politically incorrect tip. Look into ways that you can increase your testosterone, okay? Maybe engage in a no fap streak, okay? When you do that, in my experience, your uh, deepest, darkest masculine desires will trick you into believing that women are interesting. All the way up until you uh, seal the deal and then that post nut clarity hits hard and you realize, oh shit, this woman isn't the one. <laughs> Like the video for the politically incorrect tip at the end. Um, really quickly, um, if you haven't noticed, we have launched a school, a free school community for you guys. This includes a free course, a step-by-step -step guide to game. This teaches you everything you need to know to how to approach women in a cool, fun, reliable way. How to be interesting, how to be charismatic, how to get to the hook point in conversations, how to inspire women to want to be interesting around you in day game and night game. We've got some of the Game Global Coaches day game audios in there for you for free. We've got some of our craziest field reports from night game all in there for you for free. Check that out now. It's in the link in the description and the pinned comment. Other than that, my name's Joe. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you real soon.